Your punishment will follow. Espero que tenga un buen castigo. En verdad lo que ha dicho no es ver, no es cierto porque de que Blanca Nieves se enteraría y se enfadaría porque podríamos decir igual que hemos luchado contra Vladimir y la hemos matado podríamos decir que el hombre torcido nos estaba apuntando y también ha habido así como una pelea y hemos tenido que matarlo. Cámara del pozo encantado. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Are you okay? No, por tu culpa. It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble. At the crooked man's place. It's <laughs> nothing, I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, <laughs> <Sheriff. I'm laughs> I'm I'm surprised. Surprised. Not that you did well, but that... Sí, know, de que no lo matara? Gracias por no confiar nunca en mí. Ya, ya, ya. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You murderer. My you killed Lily because where the fuck do you get off? You think you have the right to just do this to people? You're a fucking crook. You should be ashamed. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and... As I already informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. Georgie may have killed them. But you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, aren't you? Yeah, Sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Georgie was a victim of this psycho too. He was pushed into the whole thing and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In Exacto. which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. I'm well aware of my rights, Miss White. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes, thank you. Now is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government and, most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where world. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. We promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the you fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. Están poniendo todos eh, en contra de Blancanieves y, y no me extraña. Y además, creo que este tiene algún plan B. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel, lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I hired him as a favor to his family, you see. 
A promise kept to a dying mother. Oh, Are you going to get to your point or what? Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. I had nothing to do with Tell it. This is fucking bullshit! You've always been a bit of a powder keg. It was only a matter of time before something like this happened. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he didn't have a say in the matter. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? No. Holly, please. Tell them, Bigby. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? I answered your questions. I was willing to cooperate. What's he talking about? You weren't being helpful. You were trying to set me up. Your people tried to kill Exacto. me. They get a bit carried away sometimes, it's true. Loyal to the end. They do it because they want to protect me, as I protected them. You understand wanting to protect what you care about, don't you? You'd do anything. You might even give up an innocent man, just to save someone. What's he talking about? Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. Use scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. You're not serious. I know what you do to people. I've seen it firsthand. What you did to Faith, the way you manipulated her. Do you really think any of those girls were free? Do you really think Faith I'm wanted sorry, to- I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm sorry that your wife came to me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my best judgment to give her a distasteful job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in You forget line. it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like I'm some kind of tyrant. When your government abandoned you, left you poor and helpless, sniveling on street corners, I was there to look out for you. Yes, but... Wasn't I? Crane was the one who let this town go to the fucking dogs. The guy who was in your pocket, remember? Really? What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that mattered, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I helped her, she was able to make a living, provide for herself. And what did they do? She wanted my tree destroyed, but... Big B Menos B mal que nos negamos. What? Menos mal. You were gonna burn her tree? Snow, why would you want that? Is that true? Snow? I know. Snow made a mistake. I have very good reasons for asking you to do that. She was working with Crane and the Crooked Man. Dios, esta tía no reconoce nunca que se ha equivocado. But you can't lie to me. You hated Crane. And you hated him for wanting to fuck you. And you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with the Crooked Man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. Menos mal. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. No one can. But I can promise to always have your best interests at heart. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. And he would take that weakness and add it to his strength. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. They're right. You're all still afraid of him. Even now. But you needn't be. His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. 
hasta un Tiny Green Leaf que tenía mis dudas porque Blancanieves quería quemar su árbol, se ha puesto a favor de ellos, ¿eh? Muy bien. El sentimiento es seguramente apreciado, Miss White. Pero no se descubre el hecho de que estas acusaciones son completamente infundadas. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the... Georgie murder. was working for you. Bigby got a confession A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement would carry more weight if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's... history. What are you talking about? Snow? And what about your history? All you've done to this fucking town? What do you mean there's no evidence? Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. I just... I of know. course it's right. This man tormented all of you, for Is profit. Exacto? Georgie Let killed him. Let me just him. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did, because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Yes, you're responsible. If I'm to blame for Georgie's mistakes, shouldn't Miss White be held accountable for Bigby's actions as well? Like what? How about the way he treated poor Tweedledee when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? You can't be serious. That was different. You're the one on trial here. Don't try to turn this around on us. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Oh, you're right, dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, so you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we all... did not order those two girls dead. It's simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. No they want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. Isn't right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Listen, the I know... The laws apply when we need them. That's I not true. I mean, a true. certain level of privilege should be afforded to... To who? This is how it's always been. Yes. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world, and ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there while they idly played in their towers, judging you? Treating you as mindless children, too stupid to command your own destiny. Without me, who will pay your rent when you're on the verge of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our dear citizens? Who will protect you from the big bad wolf? ¿Cómo le ha dado la vuelta a la tortilla? Bigby, Miss White. Es un manipulador nato, eh, este hombre. Excuse me, dear. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's while? she doing here? I'd like to... Cable, cable. I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. Bluebeard. Uh, of course. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was afraid to come My here. Dear, I don't Just know shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. But you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did he? Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Be quiet. We need to establish some order here. Vivian wanted you freed from the ribbons. She took her own life. I'm sorry, um, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered the dead. Eh? This fucker. Faith and Lily... Ah, I was eh? in the goddamn room when he did it. Faith and Lily are dead because of you. The only two people who ever gave a damn about me. And now I can finally say... You're an asshole, and I hope you rot at the bottom of the witching well for what you did. And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. It was always him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say-so. 
ever. You're going to take the word of us. Oh, At least five other girls will back me up on this. We all heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. I mean, the man. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves. You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to the next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You know we can't let you go free after this. What did you expect to happen here? You're getting what you deserve. Well done, then. Now, for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison him. Lock him up forever. Somewhere he can never hurt anyone again. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I not good you. enough. Maybe there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So we get rid of him. So we can send him Everyone, away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment. So I think this we... This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. Who? I hope you aren't suggesting yourself. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? What about him? He was appointed. He's the only official representative, no. really. He should be the judge. No, they can't, no, they can't. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's... It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay. Mr. Wolf, it's your call. Creo que me encanta el fastidio que tengamos que decidir nosotros. Do what you think is right. Creo que lo mejor es echarle por el pozo encantado. Yes, Sheriff. Do what you think is right. Teach him a fucking lesson. Everyone, I'm not this way. Me ojo le arranca la cabeza. Oh, la hecha posta mierda. You all remember. La hecha posta, el sí, pero porque nos nos iba a matar. No, I won't. <laughs> Adiós, hombre torcido, mala gente, manipulador. Eh, pero es que, ¿cómo ha manipulado toda la reunión? Que estaban a favor de Bibi y, y Blancanieves y, y en un momento ha girado las tornas y parecía que estaban a favor de él en plan, no, no, no tenemos pruebas, no es culpable pero sí que era culpable, era evidente menos mal que ha aparecido en Elisa, si no y no sé si va a pasar algo hay libros de apartamentos de lujo de, de Woodlands vale, vamos a leer los libros de fábulas madre mía, qué interesante todo, eh a ver ah, solo, un, solo uno, creía que habían dos la justicia cuando un criminal es capturado en Fabletown, el procedimiento tradicional es el de organizar una audiencia formal en frente de la comunidad. Como sea, las opciones son escasas para no llevar a cabo este proceso. En realidad no hay reglas rápidas para esta clase de situaciones y el alcance de esa política puede depender de quién está a cargo. Vale. Pues nada, vamos a volver. No, aquí. Un día después. Lo que me da rabia es que todo el mundo deja a Bibi como si fuera un monstruo y, y ha intentado ayudar a todo el mundo y vale que habremos hecho cosas mal, como lo de golpear o por ejemplo lo del gemelo, igual ahí nos pasamos un poco. Sheriff Bibi, great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? ¿Qué es este? I think I've lost count. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. Pues yo que todo el mundo está en su contra y y hemos intentado hacer siempre lo mejor aunque nos hayamos equivocado en algunas decisiones. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf, Flycatcher left his keys. 
Lo va a enviar a la fábrica. Oh, o sea, a la granja, ¿no? Is everything okay? You look... I'm... I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. We'll talk later, okay? A ver si Blanca Nieves es mala. Y no era el hombre torcido realmente el malo, malo, malo. Good morning, Miss White. You're late. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Aquí me huele a algo sospechoso, ¿eh? No sé. Comporta... Estaba muy rara Blanca Nieves. Un nuevo orden. Blancanieves a cargo. Con Crane fuera, el alcalde de Cole ha nombrado oficialmente a Blancanieves como directora de operaciones y como alcalde sustituto en su ausencia. Muchos dirán, dirían que esta promoción debió ser llevada a cabo hace mucho tiempo, ya que ella fue esencial en el establecimiento de Fabletown y se aseguró personalmente de que muchas fábulas llegaran al nuevo mundo sin problemas. Ella también ha estado haciendo el trabajo de, de alcalde sustituto extraoficialmente por años. Yo creo que le pegaría más a Bibi, ¿eh? Espero que... Oh. <risa> que no se lleven a Colin a la granja ni, ni al... No me acuerdo cómo se llamaba el nombre, al que era la rana. O el sapo. <risa> no, no, espero que a ninguno de los... No sé, me caen bien. Y no creo que sean un peligro. Es que en verdad yo creo que son leyes muy duras. Tendrían que hacer algo... Dar alguna subvención o poner los conjuros más baratos o alguna cosa, los glamour, para que todos pudieran, para que estuviera al alcance de todos, porque no es un capricho en plan de glamour para parecer más guapo, ¿no? Es, es algo necesario para vivir ahí entre, entre los humanos, normales y corrientes. Al final lo van a mandar a la granja. Forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Pobre. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. Wait, Sheriff Bigby, I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Oh, pobre. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. I'm sorry, TJ, but uh, look on the bright side, okay? There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah, you don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Ay, pobre. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm uh some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Pero quién es este? No ha aparecido en todo el juego. Hey Big B. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh, he must have run off. Bullshit. Es que eso no lo entiendo. Que que tenga que irse Todd y, y Colin, ¿no? Tendrían que quedarse los dos. Es que no hace no hace daño y, y, y el niño menos. A ver, el último libro de fábula. Comisario Bibi. Luego de huir de Homelands, Bigby Wall pasó muchos años deambulando por Europa, con una colonia de fábulas rápidamente desarrollada, Blancanieves y 
Feather Top encontraron al lobo y le ofrecieron un pasaje a Fable Town. Él lo aceptó y Blancanieves lo cortó con un cuchillo licántropo para darle el poder de cambiar a forma humana. Cuando lo desee, Bibi se volvió el comisario de Fable Town bajo la administración del rey Cole. Pero debido a su violento pasado, muchas fábulas no confiaban en él y le fue prohibido poner un solo pie en la granja. En estos días se está forzando a redimirse ante los ojos de la comunidad y lo está consiguiendo. A pesar de algunos eh, algunas meteduras de pata, nos hemos contenido muchísimas Say veces. Goodbye. Ay, Nerisa. No sé por qué no se quita... Ah, bueno, si se quita el lazo, a lo mejor se le corta la cabeza también. Pero bueno, mientras pueda hablar... Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's just... You need to let that go. How are you gonna move on if Bigby, I... I know you're trying to help. But this is just something I need to do on my own. Listen, I... I came here because... I have to tell you something. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith, Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some... leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out... I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Can you imagine the lengths they go just to silence someone who had physical evidence? I had to. Marissa, what did you do? I I'm not yeah. Okay. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were... Just trying to protect si ella no los mató, es que pensaba que ella las había matado. Yeah. Se fue de la lengua, pero bueno. Pero luego... Oh, Dios. Pero luego... Pero luego... Ay, pues nada, chica. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? I walked her over here, and I left her, just hoping that maybe if I couldn't save them... You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith. Or Lily. Nobody cares about us. Not really. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. It seems like no matter what I do, it's just... Not enough for her, or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but 
They need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You Estoy listened de acuerdo. when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally. Because you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. O sea que al final no estamos 100% seguros de si el hombre torcido ordenó... You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Esas muertes, pero vamos, yo estoy convencida un 90% de que sí, aunque no haya pruebas. I need to tell you something. I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Es que... Era ella? Es que ir tras ella para arrestarla. No sé qué hubiera pasado, entonces no me quería arriesgar. Pero ahora tengo mucha curiosidad que, de saber qué pasaría si, si hubiéramos ido tras ella. ¿La hubiera detenido? ¿Le hubiera dicho me gustas? ¿Me visa? Dan poca información en las decisiones. No, pero yo, yo creo que... Nerissa nos ha contado la verdad. A lo mejor ella lo hizo mal en contarle todo eso a Georgie, pero no fue ella quien la mató. Es que cuando estaba, estábamos hablando con ella, mmm, por un momento he pensado que, que había sido ella la que, la, la, la que había matado a sus compañeras. Vale, aquí está lo de las decisiones de siempre. Estadísticas especiales. Le mentiste a Bestia, le mentiste sobre ver a Bella fuera de su apartamento. A Bella le prometiste que no le dirías a Bestia que la viste fuera de su apartamento. Carnicero, le ofreciste protección en la oficina del trabajo. Aquí. Estadísticas especiales. Connie, le diste un trago cuando te lo pidió. Le ayu lo ayudaste a evitar la granja. Hombre torcido, lo llevaste al pozo encantado, lo lanzaste al pozo encantado. D, escogiste quemarlo con un cigarro en la interrogación, confiscaste su dinero cuando estaba en custodia. Fate, le diste dinero luego de su pelea con el leñador. Georgie, destruiste su club, tomaste dinero de la caja fuerte de Georgie. No tomé dinero de la caja fuerte de Georgie, eso es mentira. Creo que eso es mentira, ¿eh? Porque dije, no, ya tenemos el de D, no voy a coger el de Georgie. Green, bebiste con Green luego del funeral de Lily. Eh, ya, que hiciste un trato con él. Lawrence, fuiste primero a su apartamento y pediste que muriera. Ven, ahí ya tomamos bien. Blanca Never, la llevaste contigo al Tritra. Le mostraste la fotografía de Crane y ella. Le prometiste traer al hombre torcido vivo y lo cumplimos. Pequeño Tim, escogiste esperarlo. TJ, aceptaste su escarabajo y prometiste entregárselo a Blanca Nieves. Todd, lo abofeteaste durante la interrogación en su apartamento. Lo apoyaste cuando Blanca Nieves quería enviarlo a la granja, pero al final no pudimos... No pudimos hacer nada. Pero bueno, hasta aquí este juego de The Wolf Among Us. La verdad es que ha estado chulísimo. Puede ser que como llevamos casi una hora, puede ser que este capítulo lo divida en dos partes. Así que no sé si esta parte habrá tenido saludo de, de esto porque seguramente lo divida en dos partes. 
Y bueno, pues la historia me ha encantado, me ha gustado muchísimo esos giros que tiene ese misterio de que parece que Crane es el asesino, luego se gira todo y Crane solo es una marioneta, luego aparece Bloody Mary, los gemelos que están desde el principio ahí mareando la perdiz que no sabemos para quién trabaja, si trabajan para Crane, o sea, ha hecho muchas suposiciones. Y, y bueno, pues espero que os haya gustado a vosotros también este juego y nos vemos en los siguientes. Un besito y hasta la próxima.